Hi, Thomas Gunther from musictrainingonline.com. Logic Pro 10.8 comes with a great new feature called the Mastering Assistant. Now, I'm mastering my music for many years with uh, Isotopes Ozone, which is a great mastering suite, and it also has a mastering assistant. So in this video, I want to do an A-B comparison between the two by simply running the same track through the two different mastering assistants. And then we'll do the A-B test at the end and you decide which one you find works best for you. Let's do it. Okay, so here is the track we want to master. And as you can see here in the channel strip for the stereo out, we have now a new slot called mastering. Now, a little tip here, select what you want to master first. So I'm going to click on that slot and it opens the mastering assistant and immediately it starts analyzing it um, with AI technology. There's a lot going on apparently in the background. A lot of plugins are working in the background. So there's just a few things that we can change. And this video is not about me showing you how the mastering assistant can be manipulated. I just want to do a simple comparison. So I'm not going to change anything here. I'm just assuming this is great. Logic knows what it's doing. So let's give it a listen. What I already did is I bounced this out so we can load it into a new session later and compare it with the isotope uh, ozone version. So, but for now, I'm going to turn this thing off and plug in my ozone. So I'm running ozone 11. It opens up. All I have to do now is click on the mastering assistant button and let ozone do its magic. So I'm going to put it here where it's kind of loud. Okay, so it came up with this. So that's that. Now what I did, I bounced that out. Okay, so here is now the Logic project with the two different mastering versions. The first one here is Logic Mastering Assistant. The second one, Isotope Ozone Mastering Assistant. Now I'm going to play one track. I'm going to start with the Logic Mastering Assistant version and then switch to the other one and see if you can detect when I'm switching. So I'm going to do this a couple of times and eventually you might want to open your eyes and see if you really are able to detect it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I did the A-B test myself and I have to say, I didn't hear the difference. Now, I'm not a mastering engineer, so I'm sure some people can definitely hear a difference. But what it means to me is that if I just want to send a demo around of my new creation, the mastering assistant in Logic Pro will definitely do the job. Um, I guess a lot, a lot of people will use the mastering assistant in Logic just to get a really good idea what it might sound like. And then when they're really serious about releasing their product, they might want to go to 
ozone or a mastering engineer. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys and see you in the next video.